so if you, you know, been my channel for a while, um, other very like from Zelda games I've been playing for like, uh, Walking Dead, this one's back, so I'm kind of, uh, kind of excited to play it. for you guys so yeah let's get right into it. <clears throat> My favorite color is red. I have to go with red. Come on now. I was not ready for that one. Already? <laughs> How do you not see a red line? Get it open. On it. <clears throat> hey, you think he's gonna show? Bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Is that a train upside down? <laughs> oh, Christ. Move in. This is Gordon. Gotham Zoo, with all the other flying animals. <laughs> all the other animals. Hold on, I'm rolling up my sleep. Oh. oh, hold on, I don't want to press anything while I'm rolling up my shit. Rolling up my sleeves. All right. something. Q? Yep. It's so over dramatic with that one. Keep 
Are you Spider-Man? Back to back. Circle what? Up. How is he doing this shit? I don't even understand. Smoke bomb. You're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! I I hate when it comes down to fighting games like this shit. Well, he kind of just helped them, but... Didn't your mother tell you woman? Behind you, big boy. Hey, Might as well just take the money, though. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Try not mix up my cues and shit. Stay where you are. You're under arrest. Okay, hold on. The intimidating you're succeeding. The criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, yeah. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight, 
Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Wubba! Oh. I know fucking how to fight, bitch. Maybe not. news I'm just trying to help guys okay yes I did hit a woman but I have to it's yeah, so it's again. So what is that Fucking fucking head in. I mean... Wow, he's good. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Fucking cop it. did it! Don't shoot. No! Wait! That fucking douchebag. He should be fired. Really? We're gonna save her? I mean, come on, is it really worth it? Train upside down. I still don't understand that. Oh, guess I was wrong about Did you guys catch down there? Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. <sighs> Fortunately, she's right. My bad. <laughs> you fucking whore. I mean. Sorry, excuse my language. She took my back thing. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well. Oh, sorry, I had just too much dry skin. Time to say this is because I'm sick. It always happens when I'm sick. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. 
for too long. This fucking this city asshole. Has burned with corruption and greed. He seems like under a dick. Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, I hate step political. out the I fire and save our shit. great city. Every time someone well, tries to talk rain, to me about like political shit, I try to get out of it. Like I'm just like, you know, I don't really no, care about it. Never been in too much into it. It always leaves nothing but fucking arguments because people Say have different hi, opinions. Bruce. Like, no, leave me out of it, bro. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Without you. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, so the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. You want to see me, Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> then I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. Saying, There's something weird the with Greece, them. Greece, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. <laughs> I'm gonna use That's that. a good one. Bruce, I meant what I said. <sighs> Together, you and Like me, I said, you guys know I am. When I'm Gotham. playing games, I don't talk free much, from so crime. my apologies. I'm working on that. the streets that. again. That's what I want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Shake things up. <laughs> Who's that? You're not welcome. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob like my new and Regina Zellema. Uh, Ohio last weekend. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. I recommend uh, shopping at Hollister because that's where I got all this. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent. They sell pretty much like good pair of but I trust clothing, your but for cheaper than like you believe in Dent? other stores. We believe they're, in you. They're pretty, pretty After dope. all. Wherever Not you support is a reflection anything, just, on you. you know, and I we like trust them. someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that cake bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't blunt. save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. <laughs> That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Depends on the man. See, it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> 
And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Uh, and tragedy like that at such a young age must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. <clears throat> you have our support, Mr. Dent. Go, go. Oh, We're yes. on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. I have a feeling Nothing this might get a mayor. copyright claim, I'm but to know you. whatever. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, so formal. <clears throat> Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Just between us, politics bore the hell out of me. Too many words, not enough action. I didn't think you were the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah... it looks like... Uh, cut myself oh, shaving. this? No, it's nothing. It's just, uh... cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another Speaking guest of the butler. <laughs> has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally. Analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Damn. <laughs> Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. My Lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Oh, thank God. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. OK. 
Okay, I'm trying to stay on the good side, I this guess. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them Trash. all Trash! And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. I just did, bitch. Not for long. Hop on out. Hop on out. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Indeed. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Oh, great. Just what I needed, but that. The owner's a prick. The only one that was being a fucking prick was that asshole. You literally all up in my face, like, bitch. It's me. That's cool how I get to pick the color of it. Yeah, she usually don't leave behind clues unless she wants them to see him. Cut him 
nearly fell off a building for this. Can I get this chair? Let me get new one. This one's uncomfortable. A little bit, so. Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try it. Different What? what? It could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. <laughs> Thanks, Al. <clears throat> Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Oh. Is she new to town? <clears throat> Have I mentioned Singapore. I was sick? Hopefully she's sick. just a tourist. My girlfriend has a real oh, bad. I already checked the codex. She does have strep though, but she has all the symptoms find, of strep though. Which is kind of funny. Break -ins. But to like pretty well. doctor told her the you could learn a thing or two from goggle her. salt water. She if did not, help her a little bit. So. Ending up in the news lately, as Bruce or Batman. Don't compare me to her. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Mm, whenever Harvey calls, the guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted. Media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but no one's gonna so you see blood on the collar, but you don't see on my face. They all noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If 
they put it together with the What's your name, the Albert? Office, Shut the hell up. It would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. A necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. Though I hope you change careers someday. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I saw Oz. In what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but... His behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I have the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break? This cab woman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but... <laughs> fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be <clears> close, <throat> I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of this park, I think you will. I just realized you guys were seeing more of my neck than a little more. <laughs> hey, look at me. Where are you, Oz? Yeah, let's look at the burning barrel. Oh, I thought he was just gonna look at it. Some games be like that. Look at the burning barrel and they just look at it. <sighs> Great. There's the statue, but no eyes. Is that a penguin? What's up, man? You friendly? Hey. Beat it! Okay. Fucking asshole. Watch Wallet Cash. With this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Come here! You think that'll do? Shit. Oh. 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 
Scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Hey, I could have handled that myself. You mean a knife handle in the back? Because that's what would have happened, mate. Uh, no offense. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh. Uh, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> wow, he's doing pretty good for this himself. Shoes right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know, Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents have gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own feelings to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Balcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh, wish I could have punched that grin in the back of his throat. It's... politics, mm. Oz. That's how the game is played. I thought you had more integrity than that. Balcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'll be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. worried what he means by that hmm 
Hmm. I wonder if you might do something to Harvey. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. No comment. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse mm -hmm. still, those who do get out, or God mm -hmm. forbid escape, are even more dangerous than mm -hmm. before they went in. Arkham mm -hmm. Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Oh. I'm here today because I want to heal Gotham. To stop the culture of crime that's running our streets. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Let us honor their memory with this new facility in the hope that a night like that never happens again. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night... You think they night, bought that, right? We dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Gotham Construction. Oh. I'm, uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. Yeah. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long Fuck. has the family been dealing with Falcone? Oh, I'll fucking know. Be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. 
Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, how long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. What, Alfred? The police are inside the manor. Hey, um, hey, careful. Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. The DA is going to hear about this. Well, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Thanks, asshole. Motherfucker, sue him. mean to interrupt but uh, it's it's not a problem really ah oh, Bruce first the mayor's office now Wayne Manor <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins yeah <laughs> really going for the record huh <laughs> listen Bruce a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's, what's, yeah, your, angle? what's your angle about Not this? all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they they, they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify themselves it has to be falcon no idea obviously. who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran carmine falcone wants me to be in his pocket he crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. 
Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor. No. Whoops. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. The Wing family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rowe. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies. My family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents. It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Because he's the one that probably did all this. So. Because he was kind of upset when you were in his pocket. Divorce papers? A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. Make you sense. look bad? I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You- There you are. Hey, you. Sorry, I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is so <laughs> What the fuck? I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we both welcome a change of topic. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Fucking way! Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Shit. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. <laughs> How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. 
Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, Steel. high reward. Dress like a cat. Uh, stock market. Now, <laughs> Kill people, Something blow like elevators. That. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, <laughs> everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't Person. worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... I don't need one. I do this... because I can. And I thought you were on some noble crusade against crime. <laughs> Silly me. How do I explain anything to you, bitch? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. Well, I can help you on my help. You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> that bitch! <laughs> what? Am I supposed to dress up as a cat? Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. 
the sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. That one makes sense. Whatever yeah. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. The chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Hmm. These usually take me a while, so. <laughs> I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. Laser bullets? This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. I suck that at putting bad. parts together. Face slashed, throat torn open. Mm. 
Mm. So, not natural causes then. Not for him. Skylight Club. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. seen a bullet do that. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Oh. <clears throat> it's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Loki just trying to just put them all together, see what happens then. Someone drove off after the explosion. Okay. Okay. Let's try that. Could be. Okay, we're getting somewhere. That's a lot closer than anything, really. Uh, let's see what happens. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military.
Does that mean I found a match if I can't fucking do anything with that? Damn. Oh, that makes sense. Cobb shredded this mud to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men jumped them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with a phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Both targets could have been shot from here. No phosphorus trace. <coughs> phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. I got it. <laughs> Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found it. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! You, you can't make me talk! Talk? And I spare you an ambulance ride. The police won't offer the same. Not to a cop killer. Rather chance them than talk to a clown like you. Careful what you wish for. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. <laughs> They said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. 
GCPD. Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Malcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> oh, please don't. No. <laughs> I start here and keep breaking until you answer. Please just say something, Some dude. Kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Malcone said he'd use them soon. Used. Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! Please don't break it. Please don't break it. I told you everything I know! You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh my god! Oh god. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send the cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. <laughs> Now put up your hands! Don't move! Batman! What did you do to him? Don't move! He confessed to everything. It's how you got it I'm worried about. You have the right to remain silent. Gordon? I said silent! If you say another word, I will shoot you. I don't care if half the city thinks you're a hero. Right now, you're a suspect. Gordon! Tell her to stand down. Don't you dare. You're making a mistake, Detective. You want to hear what I have to say. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. It appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. It causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Alfred, stay out of it, my dude. Shit! You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this... <laughs> preposterous attack on your family you must show the world the true nature of a Wayne giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it my thoughts exactly every time you leave this cave you're a good man Bruce good just like your parents don't lose that I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject but as a friend the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway. It made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. You know, you I can see that. Fate, I, honestly, I can see that. Remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. 
This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms stealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. She could get out to the world, but this can give it out just to me. I feel like this could help more, well, because it helped her tell everyone else and can get to everyone else, like the cops and them, so... are on the front lines of this war. Yeah. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman. By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Hopefully not the kill. Well, I'm going to end this episode right here, guys. I know. I'm sorry for that, but it's reached to a long point. Good place to stop. Uh, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like it, give a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below if you want to see more like this. Suggest other games I should play. Um, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this. And I hope you guys are too. Remember, if you guys comment, give a big thumbs up, then I also know that you guys like this sort of stuff. So, but uh, thank you guys. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.